Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a 1D transient advection diffusion problem using FTCS or forward time centered space finite difference method. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D transient advection diffusion problem. This problem is very similar to the diffusion problem we have seen earlier. We have an extra term for the convection part we need to add to these equations. We discretize the domain into five grid spacings. We'll consider a single time step and we'll solve the problem using FTCS finite difference method. We will then vary grid spacings and time steps and obtain solutions. Our problem is shown here. So we have a porous plate which is one centimeter long we have a fluid flowing through this porous plate at a convection velocity of 0.1 cm per second. The, material, the property for the fluid alpha, which is the thermal diffusivity, is equal to 0.01 cm squared per second. The temperature at one end of the plate is maintained at 0 degrees Celsius. The temperature at the other end is maintained at 100 degrees Celsius. The initial temperatures vary linearly according to this equation. T in equals 100 times x over L degrees Celsius. So the 1D advection diffusion equation is given as Ft plus U times Fx equals alpha times Fxs. F is any dependent variable. F can be temperature or concentration as an example. U is the convection velocity and alpha is the diffusion coefficient. If we consider F as temperature, we can write the equation as TT plus U times TX equals alpha times TXX or represented in a different way dou t over dou t plus u times dou t over dou x equals alpha times dou square t over dou x square. Here the uppercase t is the temperature which is a function of the spatial coordinate x and time t. Alpha is the thermal diffusivity of the fluid in centimeter square per second. Alpha equals k over rho c. K, rho and C are the thermal conductivity of the fluid, the density of the fluid and specific heat capacity of the fluid. The units are given here. We basically ignore the material properties of the, the porous metal itself. So we consider here that the fluid flow governs the temperature and the material doesn't govern the temperature very much. So the 1D advection diffusion equation, we can solve it analytically at state for steady state condition and is given as T of X comma infinity equals 100 times exponential of Px over L minus 1 over exponential of p minus 1. Here p is the peclet number and is given as ul over alpha which is the ratio of advection to diffusion. In forward time center space or FTCS method we will have to discretize the 1D advection equation given here that is tt plus utx equals alpha times txx. So we discretize this equation as tin plus 1 minus tin over delta t plus u times tin plus 1 n minus ti minus 1 n over 2 delta x equals alpha times ti minus 1 n minus 2 times ti n plus ti plus 1 n over delta x squared. And we'll rearrange this equation as given here. Here i represents the node location and n represents the time step. 
if we call c equals u times delta t over delta x as quotient number and d equals alpha times delta t over delta x squared as diffusion number the equation can be written as t i n plus 1 equals t i n minus c over t c over 2 times t i plus 1 n minus t i minus 1 n plus t times t i minus 1 n minus 2 times t i n plus t i plus 1 n equation 5 is the final form of the FTCS finite difference approximation of the original advection diffusion equation we are trying to solve. We have to note that FTCS method is an explicit method and is conditionally stable. The stability criteria is given as c square equals should be lesser than or equal to 2 times t which should be lesser than or equal to 1. The error is of the order of delta t and of the order of delta x square. So we should note here that even though we meet the stability criteria in some cases, if you want to target for higher accuracy, delta t and delta x values should be smaller. Now let us discretize the 1D domain into m that is five segments or grid spacings equally spaced as shown below from one to six here we know the temperatures at nodes one and six and these are the boundary conditions we also know the initial temperatures at the interior nodes two three four and five and these are the initial conditions so to apply equation five we need to consider the interior nodes from two to five and equation 5 is reproduced here and if we let i equals 2 3 4 and 5 and n equals 0 for the first time step we will know the we can find out the temperatures at the interior nodes for the first time steps and the equations are shown as 6 7 8 and 9 again here t 1 n and t 6 n are the boundary conditions for all times and t i 0 is the initial condition for all interior nodes let delta t equals 0 0.5 seconds delta x equals l over m which is equal to 1 over 5 equal, equals 0 0.2 centimeter our stability criteria is reproduced here as c square should be lesser than or equal to 2 times t which is which should be lesser than or equal to 1. So accordingly, we'll calculate the diffusion number d as 0 0.125 and 2 times d is lesser than 1 in this case. So we meet the stability criteria on the right hand side. Also, we calculate the current number or the convection number c equals u times delta t over delta x as 0 0.25 and c squared which is equal to 0 0.0625 is lesser than 2d which is 0 0.25 so we meet the stability criteria for the left hand side as well the initial conditions are given for the six nodes as shown here and we also know the boundary conditions at the two ends now we need to substitute the values of C, D, the initial conditions and the boundary conditions into equations 6 to 9. When we substitute those values, we can evaluate the temperatures at the interior nodes from 2 to 5 as shown here. Here T2 1 equals 15 degrees Celsius, T3 1 equals 35 degrees Celsius t4 1 equals 55 degrees celsius and t5 1 equals 75 degrees celsius likewise we can find the temperatures at these interior nodes for the next time step by choosing n equals 2 and so on we will present graphical results using matlab we can write general purpose codes and we can vary the grid spacings and time steps as this year
and we can solve the obtain solutions accordingly let's go to matlab so here we solve the 1d advection diffusion equation using ftcs method with constant boundary conditions at the ends or Dirichlet bc conditions so the parameters are listed listed here and our time step equals c to reflect what we have done the powerpoint the total time is say one second and the number of time steps is say two so we get delta t is 0 0.5 seconds and the number of grid spacings will set it as five and uh, we will try to solve the program here run the program here okay so in any explicit method we have to make sure uh, we are meeting the stability criteria and in this case we do and let's go back and check the temperatures so these are the initial temperatures and for the first time step at 0 0.5 seconds we obtained these temperatures the interior temperature temperatures being 15 35 55 and 75 degrees celsius and they should match the manual calculations we did here so what we do next is let's change the time steps the total time let's change it to 10 seconds and the total number of time steps to say 20 and uh, the number of grid spacings to 10 and let's run a couple of scenarios after this So the exact solution is given in blue and we should note that it is at steady state. The solution using FTCS at say time equals 10 seconds is shown here. And they are not very close to each other. So we'll vary the conditions once again we'll change it to say 50 seconds and we need to increase the time steps to say 400 and we'll change the um, number of spatial grids to say 20 every time when we change this parameters we have to verify the stability criteria and in this case we meet the stability criteria and we'll go back and uh, look at the the graph and here the exact conditions uh, on the FTCS uh, solutions they match kind of close so what we can do next time is we can increase the time the total time to say 100 seconds and uh, the time steps I need to increase accordingly so that again the stability criteria is met and uh, number of spatial grids to 100 say and run it one more time So in this case, they are pretty much close. The exact temperatures are the steady state condition and the FTCS values 
let's say 100 seconds so it's kind of reaching the steady state condition at 100 seconds and um, if you want to look at the profile we can go back uh, say let's go back and change it uh, to say 50 here and 400 here and 20 also we need to we want to look at the the animation here So here uh, we have this graphical uh, display in color. In, at the top uh, left hand side we have the initial condition, initial temperature profile. At the bottom left hand side we have the final temperature profile when time equals 50 seconds. And at the right hand side we can see the variation of temperatures with time. And since we have convection or um, in, in the picture, so the temperatures change quicker than when you have pure diffusion. So this is going to run until we have time equals uh, 50 seconds. We will now go back to our presentation and I would like to summarize what we did so far. In this video, we presented a 1D advection diffusion problem. We discretized our domain and solved the problem using FTCS fine difference method. We varied the grid spacings and time steps and presented the results graphically using MATLAB. In future videos, we can explore more challenging problems. If you have any questions or comments, please post it. Thanks for watching the video.